towers that have wheels can be moved around quickly and easily. Before moving a tower, check your route for obstructions, both on the ground and overhead. Be particularly aware of overhead power lines or third rail, which must be isolated or located the assessed safe working distance away from the tower to prevent risk of electrocution. Also, be aware of anyone who may be nearby, such as members of the public or other rail workers. When you're ready to go, reduce the height of the tower to a maximum of four meter platform height. But if there are less than four correctly positioned stabilizers on the tower, for example, because it was previously in a corner, take the height down to two meters. Keep the stabilizers in position, raised no more than 25 millimeters, that's one inch from the ground. Ensure there are enough people on hand to control the movement of the tower. Then use your hands to push, never pull, at or near the base of the tower. Once the tower is in its new position, engage the wheel brakes. You don't need to inspect your tower each time you move it unless something happened that could have affected its integrity. However, you should use a spirit level to check that it's upright. If you're working on a track, you may have assembled your tower on a scaffold trolley so you can move it around more easily. Each time you move the tower into a new position, you must ensure that it's still vertical. If it's leaning by even one degree, the tower won't be structurally sound. Never move a tower with people, materials or equipment on it, even if it's on a scaffold trolley. Don't try to move a tower if it's on base plates. You need to dismantle it completely and rebuild it at the new location. Don't move or lift a tower using any mechanical means. Don't try to move a tower by pushing or pulling it from the top. These videos are not a substitute for PASMA training. If you're working on towers, you must be competent to use them for work at height. If you're assembling, inspecting, moving, altering or dismantling towers, or supervising work on towers, you should be PASMA trained. For more tower safety information and resources, visit pasma.co.uk.